hear this song. Okay. Welcome back to My Hero Academia Anime Review, episode 216. Yep. Here reviewing the newest episode of the series, episode 153, which is known as The Butterfly Effect. This book, this episode adapts basically pages 1115 of chapter 172 to be 372. The entirety of 373 to 374. And almost the entirety of chapter 375. With the exception of the last two pages. Now, <clears throat> now in the case of 372 to 375, that's actually reprinted in... This volume here, and yes, this episode is finished adapting all chapter of this book, and it starts adapting the, the first chapter of this book here. This is book thirty-eight. Now, um, I did check to see when the next one comes out. It comes next month, volume forty, February. Yes, believe it or not, volume forty comes out in February. Now. 41. I don't know when it's coming, but it just came out just in Japan just last month. So we probably have like one more volume left to go. I think the volume series My Hero Academia probably end with volume 42. Given the fact that the volume 41 goes to basically 424 and the manga is 430 chapters, yeah, it's quite obvious. What happens this episode? Well, we pick up right where we left it last time where Spinner is breaking to the hospital. And him or her seeing all the doctors basically just forming a wall to protect the patients. And one of them, who looks like a pig man, sees this, drops his bat, and ever he's to walk outside. And of course, the representative from the Paramount Liberation Front, where he is basically spout out nonsense. So, yeah, and of course, they see the fact that what they're wrong. The fight is pretty much concluded pretty quickly. And, well, Spinner does free Kataguri, who uses war power to affect several battles. But technically, the the battle at Jaku Hospital, this is over. Completely over. Like, it didn't last very long. It lasted maybe two episodes? Yeah, that's something interesting, though, about this thing in the anime. Because in the manga... Actually, it lasted for four episodes. In the manga, this lasted for... I think it was about seven chapters overall. Yes. Overall, seven chapters. But the anime has it last for... Four? Yeah. Not very long. Not really. So, of course, there's a... He, he activates the ability. And then we cut to where All for One is. In his young form. And then Hawks turns around and sees a warp gate open up, and there's twice the man he killed. Two arcs back. Of course, to explain this to him before, where. And of course, we have many things with Imigo Toga saying things in her head, and then she activates, looks like to activate one of those blood things. Froppy tries to stop her. And turns out, nope, that was dummy, and of course she activates anyways. Where she becomes her, and then she becomes twice. And then thanks to a portal opening up, she activates his ability to double himself, like, sad parade. Make a whole bunch of copies of himself. Because he and Toga wants to go kill Hawks. So, and of course, basically, well... Ochaku and Froppy follow her through the warp gate. And, and by the way, in the case of Dobby, Dobby proceeds to flee from the battle. He flies away. And Burning, we see Burning, she, her sleeves are basically gone from her outfit. And she's sleeveless for her outfit that she has. And of course, Ingenia was holding back Shudo because, like, all they have the same blood. And of course, basically, they fly away. With, and of course, he goes to a portal. Where he ends up probably where Endeavor is. So basically switch people around. Thanks to Kaiguri. And that's kind of the episode. It's a really good episode. I say in the case of the whole thing with. With Tentacruel. Like the stuff with the Helomorphs. That was probably the best part of this episode. Because it wraps up really nicely. Like 
yes, the ending of the battle does set up basically some confusion throughout the rest of the episode, but we also get a chance to see, like, I would say the other really good part of this episode is the stuff with to with Himika Toga, Ochako, and Froppy. I love that scene. That was a great scene in the episode. Probably the weakest scene because it didn't really do anything. Oh, by the way, there is this anime riddle stuff, basically. It's been expanded from the manga. Where it's cut to Washington State. They don't know what city this is. It's just the state of Washington. Washington, U.S. Where a news reporter reports on basically weather in Japan. And decides to basically reveal to everybody, thanks to weather report, that the U.S. government has surrendered for, to all for one. Yes. The fact, yeah. And, of course, the, her producer is there is like, Cut, like, cut it, cut, go, go, go to the commercial, like, oh man, we're going to use our sponsors, like, whatever. Yeah, he's not very happy. And, of course, there's a little banner up, and I, and here's the thing about this character, she only appears in one chapter in the manga, probably in this only episode, and that's it. If you're curious, does this go anywhere? Not really. My guess, they put the scene here because it was in the manga. And the whole thing, her up a sign, that was completely original. But the whole scene itself is in the manga. So I think it's in an original, looking the fact that it just comes completely out of nowhere and jumps the action. I would consider that to be the weakest scene of the whole episode because it just doesn't do anything for a lot of people. It's just a weather, uh, a, a weather woman where she just, just does her important rants about the U.S. government. Surrendering to all for one. Yeah, and, and no, I would not blame Crunchyroll for this scene at all. Because people might think, oh, Crunchyroll ult this scene from Pablo the Sub. I don't think they did because this is how it was in the manga. So, don't anybody basically blame Crunchyroll for this scene. They didn't request this scene. They didn't, from what I can tell, they didn't alter it because I own the freaking book basically and happened in. And in case you're curious though. The woman's name is Meryl. In case you're curious, what chapter did he debut in? It was chapter 374. Which is reprinted in this very book. So, oh yeah, also Deku was briefly seen this episode. With also, what, apparently there's a rainstorm. And of course, fans I think he's basically just... Well, this episode keeps getting soaked. He apparently just can't... He has to basically have his eyes open the whole time. Without blinking. Just so Sudoroku can't use his regenerative ability. Yeah, it does advance that fight a little bit, but that's pretty much it. Yep. But yeah, this is pretty much a particular view. Please, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, turn notifications, and do not hit this like button. Well, I can't do videos now because it's almost midnight right now. So I, I have to work in the morning. I had to do this big sure I get the sun today. So tomorrow, expect to see hopefully reviews for, well, first, um, Super Sunday, obviously. One more comic corner, Chain Soldier, Fairy Tale, and finally, Case Closed. Let's look at this stuff tomorrow, okay? Next video, tomorrow. Bye.